Hello everyone! Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Chronicle. I am the Black Shadow and last time folks uh, we re-entered the underground tunnel. Uh, what do I keep with the underground tunnel folks? I've got no idea. But, uh, we re-entered nonetheless. Um, we after uh, getting uh, Steve, our ride pod, uh, back and ready for the business. Uh, we kick Linda's ass, and now we are um, on a plane sailing route, folks, to exiting the channel and finding out what awaits us outside, folks. So, let us not delay it any longer. Let's get cracking. And I'm going to say right now, folks, I love this music to death. Absolutely do. When you come towards an end of a dungeon, different music. And I love this music. I really do. Oh, it takes me back so, so much. Love it a bit. Sweet, scary treasure chest. I wonder how many people here get what that's going on about. Yes, not all the enemies are going to be that obvious to start. Some bread. Cool. But yeah, this music, it's really cool, folks. It, it just... Oh, I love it. I love this game to bits, folks. And I haven't even been able to get around some one of the reasons why I do love this game to bits, folks. But we will be there very soon. Well, new enemy here, folks. The Darkness. No, not the band. Uh, that is... Well, would you look at it, folks? Um, best advice? Shoot. Well, actually, no, shoot doesn't work. I thought shooting did work. Ugh! Fine, I'll hit you to death. Although, look at that, folks. You notice how suddenly it started glowing orange? Be careful. Ah, <laughs> that hurt. Yeah, be really careful when it starts going like that. Enemies become a lot more dangerous. But why did they do that, folks? Well, um, remember at the start of the game where I mentioned about um, the uh, when you with enemies. Now, not to worry about the little red counters above it, folks. So that's called the the anger counter. And basically, it's the amount of hits that an enemy will take before it just starts going mental. Uh, I'll be a bit more passive until then. Oh, this could get nasty. I need to lure the darkness away. Away from these freaking frogs. Because I'm not fighting those at the same time. Because that would be a horrendous fight. But you see, once we get to nullifying it, it goes crazy. So you really want to be careful and make sure you taken out because damage boost and it just goes berserk. Be careful. Ha ha! You suck. Come on. In the face. Shoot you down. Perfetic. Actually, level for the guns. I, I will address all the, the levels up and stuff we're going to get. We have been getting, but uh, I don't want to do I'm not going to do it right now, folks, but I'll, I'll get to it later. There's, I know there's probably people that played this game before screaming at me, What are you doing, Shadow? But have faith, folks. Have faith. All will be revealed soon enough. Sit down, mate. Big hides. They'll be quite useful, actually, later on in the game. They're quite useful, you know, for, for, for making stuff. More of them, thanks. Ooh, unknown bones. Now they're not bad either to get at this stage in the game. They can be quite useful for uh, for, um, for for certain things. This room's empty. I don't like that. Of outdoors, haven't we, folks? Where on earth is everything? Why is it so quiet? I don't like it when it's. Uh oh. Ah! That's it. Beat it to death. Falcon kick it, why don't you? Yeah, that's what we're talking about. It's not really a Falcon kick, it's more like a Randy Orton punt, but. 
Uh, in any event, still pretty effective. Box to the face! Oh, I missed! Sit down. <laughs> what you gonna do? What you gonna do, darkness? What you gonna do when the Maximilian comes fighting you? There we are. Have some of that. Oh! Oh, gosh. Uh -oh. Ah! Sheepers! This is unacceptable! <laughs> Box to the face! Bonus or what? Oh, goodness me. We, we, we really ought to repair this. We, we, we ought to repair our stuff. We need to find some gun repair powder, folks. We, we haven't got much of it. Oh, we'll go get this then. Ah, interesting. Is that two vanguards? Oh my goodness. Steve! Get over here! Got some nun skulls that need their asses handing to them. There you go. Have some of that. You douchebags. And the cannon now is broken, so I'm going to hope we can just get by without using it, and then I'll go see Cedric and like, get it repaired or something. So that's it, just the only way he's up there? Well, holy crap! King Mimic, folks! Be very careful. He's not fun. He will do a lot of damage if you let him. Do we have any, uh... Bombs. Yeah, that's it. Goodbye, Sunny Jim. Yeah, that'll make life a bit easier, folks. Um, again, we'll find those every now and again. You can also buy the bombs, but they're, they're actually quite expensive. And there's our map. And Ooh, look at that, folks. You see on the top right, you see the uh, the question mark. There's actual, there's some health back there. That's all right. But again, the long and arduous journey all the way around because the game didn't see fit to allow me any kind of passage. I've had it once where it's. Like, I remember once it was like it, the, the, the entire map was like almost like a virtual straight line, and we were like right in the middle of it. We had to go either one way or the other, and it just, it, no, nothing branched anywhere. It was a real pain, um, really inconvenient, but. Uh, there's random regenerated um, floors for you folks. Sometimes they're quite useful. Sometimes they are a pile of dog do. Right, so that goes down that way. So we'll bust open the gate here. Um, I must admit, folks, actually, I haven't quite decided yet if I want to show every single floor dungeon. I, I don't know yet. I haven't decided. Oh, for goodness sakes. I really don't want to use... Oh. Grum's fine. You win. You win. Really didn't want to have to... Didn't want to do that. It feels like a waste. It should get all repaired. Well, victory is ours nonetheless, so I suppose I can do that. That's all well and good. We'll uh, get our uh, little heel up here. There we are. Um, see what's in our chest here, and then we're done. Well, no boats, thanks, game. But yeah, folks, I admittedly, I haven't decided yet. I... I I think I, prob I, I might. Um, it kind of depends. There are some things that uh, you can do in these dungeons a little bit later on. We haven't got access to them yet. Which I might do a lot of. Um, but I'm not necessarily going to actually show. Because some of it's quite time consuming. And if I was to do like everything I wanted to. We could. We might be going like a, a, a floor or two. Um, 
uh, a video, which is no rate to be going at, folks. So I might start, I might do some stuff off screen, but I think, I think probably just clearing the floors themselves, I'll probably just um, do my, I will show it because, you know, I think I will, but I don't know what you guys think. But anyways, to the Channel Reservoir. And yeah, folks. Oh, wow. General rule of thumb: if you go into a new area, folks, and it doesn't have medals, generally speaking, it means one thing. I think the exit should be around here somewhere. What's that? You don't want to know what that is, Max, but you're gonna find out anyways. A familiar foe. Oh, yes, indeedy. <laughs> Shall I put a stop to this game of tag we've been playing? Shit. There he is! Here we go! It's showtime! Who does he think he is? Utter nutter. It's Halloween, folks! Now, be a good boy and hand over that red stone. Otherwise, you're gonna make Mr. Flotsam very, very angry. So angry, he might even kill you! <laughs> He's mad! Don't you get it? I told you once I'm not handing this stone over. Just give it up already. Ooh, I wouldn't cop that attitude with me if I were you. You'll live to regret it! Mm. Huh. Yeah, hook <laughs> yourself, Flotsam. You fly away like some... I don't even know. Whatever it is, it's boss time, folks! Um, yes, now fighting uh, the, the guy here is uh, not the same as normal, folks. We don't hit it. We don't shoot it. We don't do anything to it, folks. Um, you see? Yes. Row bombs, folks. This is the, one of the main ways it's going to attack you by throwing these little red things at you. The idea here is pick up, throw back. That's the general idea. Although, be careful when it does that. When this guy starts dancing around. It's not fun. Hey! You can't do this to me! No. Sit down! This is not how it's gonna be! Send your little minions after me, you vagabond! Good experience for the actual thing, to be fair, though, but hey-ho! Now, where's he gone? Ow! I wasn't expecting that! You're gonna pay for that, sir! How'd I miss that? I'm not doing very well here, folks, am I? This is a poor star. Come on, you. Whoa, that's not fun. Freaking missiles. Although, folks, I will point it out to you. You go to your scoop notes. Clown Robo's attack. The horrifying moment the Clown Robo launches its missiles. Yes, folks. We need to take a picture of this thing firing missiles at us. Isn't that swell? The problem is, is trying to snap that when you don't know what it's going to do. And obviously when it does fire the missiles, you've got major issues. But again, you've got to do this now, you'll never get another chance to it. There we are, oh yeah, superb. Right, now you're going, hey. What are you doing? Oh, you're mine. Yeah. yeah, there you are, you little piece of crap. Now we can aim for its head. That's it, Max. Lay into the sucker. Ah. Hey, stop advancing! Ugh. Oh, some more damage, eh? Yeah, how do you like that? On your shiny red nose, you piece of crap. Come on, you. Come on. 
working and you take your soul and take it to the cleaners. Oh, now you're mine. Goodbye. <laughs> there could only be one winner. And that is me. Oh, my poor little Halloween. It's okay. You can still move. Stand up. <laughs> Hurry now. <laughs> He's mad. Well, oh, goodness me. Whoa, Flotsam. Are you... Is he alive? Squeak. Huh? Clowns. It's fighting to... It, oh. What did we just see? I think I think they I think that was, what was that the paramedics? Could that be? Got no idea, the folks. Way out? But there, I don't know, Max. But you know those famous words. There's only one way to find out. Channel exit. Well, it looks pretty good to me. Grass, check. Clear blue sky, check. Awesome landscape, check. I think we found what we're looking for. Welcome to the outside world. Doesn't look so bad. But look at there, you know, look, it looks pretty cool. Oh, look, tap. What oh, waterfall. Again, yeah, there's always ideas to snap, folks. There's always ideas to snap. Um, can we not get more luck at the bridge? Iron bridge, that's what we're looking for. Lovely. Always keep getting them, folks. Right, uh, we just um, get the inventions up. Uh, by the way, the clown robo one is really quite useful. It, it gets used in several different... Um, uh, um, Inventions, uh, so really useful to get hold of that one. It's using loads. Think about like seven. So ridiculous. I think they're pretty much all the missable ones. Um, I think uh, the Blackstone uh, Railroad, I think, actually is officially missable. You've got to snap it. I think you have to that snap it in the station, but I, I don't actually know. The sky goes with me. so far away, so far above. The most beautiful thing I had ever seen. Yeah, try saying that again in five minutes. But wink, I was wink. yet to realize that great changes were happening in the world. Who goes there? Cedric! What are you doing here? What do you think he's doing? Ha <laughs> ha! What you think? You surprised? The Blackstone Railroad's back and ready for action. We're gonna see the world on this baby. Max, we got quite an adventure ahead of us. Hop on so we that can was Cedric's at it! <laughs> My goodness! Even Cedric's at it now. Oh, I don't believe it. Oh, well, we are off, folks. Where does the railroad lead? I'm not quite sure. But it's onwards and upwards from here. So boldly go where no man has stepped for a long time.
All right, listen up, Max. This is what I found out from Need. His story was pretty far-fetched. That's all right. I'm listening. It was 15 years ago. Something terrible happened in the world. What exactly happened? You don't need this letter to tell you that, do you, Mother? Listening to Cedric's story, at first I was surprised. But as I listened, I slowly started to understand exactly what it was that was happening around me. Fifteen years ago, the world was laid to waste, and all that remained was the town of Palm Brinks. Was? Why? Our enemy, the one who destroyed everything, was a mysterious ruler. His name? Emperor Griffin. We still don't know why he did this. Why he destroyed our world. The heck? The reason that he did not also destroy Palm Brinks was because of a stone he believed was hidden in our town. Yes, the stone I'm wearing right now. Would you believe it? Griffin's henchman, Flotsam, threatened the mayor and made him search for the stone. And that's why, when he found out that I had it, he wanted to catch me so badly. The world laid to waste, the elusive overlord Emperor Griffin, and the strange stone that everyone seemed to want. With this mysterious puzzle, my adventure began. Eggs swiftly came to a halt. What the? It came from outside! It did indeed. Max, that ladder there leads to the roof of the train. Go check it out. Gotcha! This part of the game is so fun. Before you do anything though, folks, two things I want to take a picture of. Firehouse and the coal. Well, I kind of want to get both of those. Yeah, 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 sure. Right, let's get up here, folks. Find out what on earth the noise is all about. Like there's a war going on outside. Do we derail or something, or...? No, we seem okay. What's all that commotion going on out here? What the... Yeah! What on earth? Are you kidding me? Flotsam's got a machine gun! Ah, it's like he's stuck to my boot. Max! If we don't do something fast, we're in serious trouble. Time to fight back, son. Sounds like a good idea, but how? Oh, yes. Use this. Oh, baby. So I throw this? Yep. No, you stand on it and you do a it, dance. You, you, Just you moron! I'm not so sure if this... Yeah, you got a better idea? Look at the chance on him! My god! Oh dear balls. me, I love this game to death. It's the armed ATV. Blackstone Railroad versus P3000. It is time to kick backside. Ah, have some of those apples, pig. Yeah, the ATV. It can do that. Can I take a photo of it? No. Oh, that sucks. I want to take a photo. I didn't know if I could actually. You can see the train's health there as well. Of course, um, he's having a crack at us. From the bombs, it's kind of awkward actually. It's quite easy to miss because once it hits the ground, it suddenly skids off. Um, so it's quite easy to miss if you haven't done this much before. Ah, bugger. That it doesn't bounce as well either. It, it'll bounce like the once and that's it. Did I get him? Oh, that's all. What was that, Shadow? That was pathetic! You trying to get yourself killed here? Come on, go get him! Yes, just about. I think I made that Flotsam nil Maximilian free. <laughs> it's on fire! Do something, you worthless lump! Uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna die. Why won't you just give up? Uh. Oh God, he strip. Uh, what? What on earth am I looking at? He's gonna blow himself up along with this whole train. Birthday suit. What? Love another one of those bombs at me. Is he become that desperate? 
Are you kidding me? Oh, no. Hey, mister! Uh, who? Don't you ever give up? You're starting to look pretty pathetic. A kid? What are you doing here? You want another circus ticket? You want a refund? What's this? Another little brat? Oh, I see. So you want to die too? Hmm? Sure, why not? <laughs> Oh, good grief. Let's go, punk! It's time to burn! This does not look good. And, whoa, what the hell? What's going on? That's technical issues, What's or, uh... What the? Wait a minute! It's you! How did what you... What the? The heck? What the? What the hell is she doing? Oh my god! Bottom just got nailed. So that was how I met Monica. Even though it was the first time we'd met, I felt like I'd known her for a long time. Eventually, Are you sure you're not just trying to hit forest, The train couldn't go any further. Are you sure that's not your pickup line? Where have I seen you before, babe? I don't know what accent that was. I just made that up. Pretty pathetic. I'm just going to say this right now. I love Monica to death. I'm just saying that now. Just get this over with. No, no... No fancy panting around here, folks. Awesome. Absolutely epic. Ah, stop by our rock. Gonna take some work to what move a freaking train set. Just plow through the damn thing. That's fine with me. I've got things to do here. You do? This place is the spirit forest, Sindane. But it's different than in my time. Your time? What are you talking Monica about? Monica came from the future. Came from the what? She came to this time to do something very important. That's what she told me. Future? Pretty far-fetched. Normally, you wouldn't believe time travel was possible. It's crazy, but this was only the beginning of our unbelievable adventure. Fuck! Oh! It's the fourth pop now! The fourth the one! Real surprises were still we're not even into the second chapter yet! If we could restore the Great Elder's origin point... He could tell us who Griffin really is. Elder? The origin, origin point. point? The origin point. Yes, an origin point is where something begins. Like a flower, you first have to plant the seed in the soil before it will bloom. Come on, folks, you know you guys love the diagrams. In that case, the action of planting the seed is the origin point of the flower. In that way, the flower is the history that springs from the origin point. In the same way, all things that happen in the future have their origin point in the past. But if that origin point is changed, the results can be terrible. And that's what Griffin has done. He has? Griffin has sent his henchmen to this time, altering the origin points of my time. Bastard! And now he is rewriting history as he sees fit. That's clever! That is really clever! In my time, this forest was where the Elder of the Spirits, Jurak, lived. He was very wise and powerful. His great power purified the forest and gave vitality to all the living things in it. But Griffin erased Jurak from existence. And not only Jurak, all those with the power to challenge Griffin are being erased from existence too. I don't think he'll stop until he's wiped out. Determined look! Scary! So, someone has That's to That's not him. a look you want to see. Even now, my comrades are fighting Griffin in the future. And Max, I need you to help us. Huh? Me? Yes, you have to. We do? Uh, It'd be a pretty dull game if we didn't, I guess. Okay, I'll do it. You never know what you're doing, Max, you oh, fool. Right. I knew you would. Guess we're a team now, right? Team! Max. Thank you. Shake the woman's hand. And with that, Monica joined my adventure. An adventure to take back the true past. 
the true history that had been stolen by Emperor Griffin. Chapter 2, Resurrection of the Great Elder. I know that the storyline seems just a wee bit far-fetched at this point, but just, just, just go with us here. Just, just go with BS Inc. here, folks. It's not as crazy as it first seems. Ooh, thanks. Let's start with Sindane. Which is the forest? Sindane. Max, you go on without me. I'll just stay here and work on getting Blackstone running again. If you need my help, just holler. Righto. Hey, Max, we're gonna have to work hard to shift this boulder. Bring back anything good you find in the forest. Folks, I'm seeing a Barry Burton coming along here. Make sure you let us know if you need a hand. Okay, take care of yourself, Max. I'm just feeling it. And you do, little girly pie. Girly? What are you? Shut up, Eric. You bet. I think okay, I think Monica's just um, just letting that one slide. Oh, I, she may well have killed him for that. You don't want to mess with a woman with a big sword. And now that we're here, we can now start playing around with more features of the game. But um, I'm gonna go into uh, well, yet more features, folks. Um, no, no, no. We will bring an end to the video here, folks. I think it makes probably less sense. But uh, we have a new character, folks. Monica, a girl from 100 years of the future. Uh, who we can now switch to, and vice versa, folks. Uh, and we can control Max and Monica, both um, in the maps and also in uh, battle and that sort of thing. She's got a... Uh, Monica uses her own equipment. Obviously, she's got a sword here. Uh, but she also uses uh, magical armbands, which is how she, you know, did magic. That kind of thing. Seems pretty plausible. Uh, but yes, folks, so now that we have two characters, folks, makes life a lot easier than just having the one. It makes a massive difference in combat, but uh, it does also present its own issues at times. But, uh, well, we'll get to that when we do. But for now, folks, that is what I'm going to bring an end to this video. So I will thank you all very, very much for watching. Next time, we are going to... Uh, oh... I suppose we might as well start exploring the, the forest a bit more. You know, we've come here. Apparently, Monica's got uh, work to do. And I'm not exactly going to stand in her way, folks. Oh, no. So, we'll see you next time. Ta-ta for now.